The ligaments and capsule of the glenohumeral joint provide stability in critical positions near the extremes of motion. An important example is at the transition between late cocking and early acceleration in the baseball throw. Here a lot of torque is applied to the arm, forcing it into maximal extension and external rotation. This torque could easily overwhelm the glenoid suction cup, the limited joint volume, and the concavity compression mechanisms. Something mechanisms. Something more is needed. In this position, the stability of the joint depends on a capsular ligamentous constraint mechanism. Classically, there are three anterior glenohumeral ligaments, the superior, middle, and the inferior, as shown here. The arrangement, size, and distinctness of these ligaments varies among shoulders, yet practically all joints have a dense band of tissue at this key anterior-inferior aspect, which provides stability in the throwing position. Arthroscopically, we can appreciate how these ligaments function by watching the anterior glenohumeral ligaments from inside the joint capsule. While externally rotating the humeral head with the arm elevated, the anterior capsular laxity is eliminated by tension applied to the ligaments as they approach the limit of joint motion. Approach the limit of joint motion. The tense capsular ligaments compress the head into the glenoid socket and form a barrier to translation. As shown diagrammatically, they also force the head in the opposite direction away from the tight tissue. This capsular ligamentous restraint provides a solid check rein when the joint is in a situation likely to overwhelm the other stabilizing mechanisms. The capsular constraint mechanism operates only near the limits of joint motion. If the capsule became tight in the mid-range position, it would not only restrict motion, but could force the head out of the joint and cause joint damage. Another key structure in the important rotator interval capsule between the supraspinatus and subscapularis tendons is the coracohumeral ligament. With joint distraction or humeral extension and external rotation, one can see the coracohumeral ligament which originates from the base of the coracoid process and courses outward towards the cuff insertion. This structure comes under tension with elevation and flexion and external rotation of the arm. In this position, the rotator interval capsule has been found to stabilize the humerus against posterior displacement. Both the coracohumeral and superior glenohumeral ligaments resist inferior displacement of the humeral head when the arm is positioned dependently by the side. In this position, inferior and lateral translation of the head onto the glenoid rim causes tension in the rotator interval capsular structures.